We're here at H-E-L-N-L Stadium in Gehenna, Texas. Owner GM and coach Scary Clones wants his newly completed art installation to get the crowd pumped. But most are just wondering why a bunch of naked painted orcs are gyrating in the lobby. Today's matchup is going to be complete mayhem. The teams are taking the field. The Blitzburg Steelheads battle. The Malice Hellboys. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hi again, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here, along with the only guy to ever get cut from the league for testing positive for not taking enough steroids or mutant growth hormones, Brickhead Mulligan. Hey, there was a reason for that. I had to quit taking steroids. My nutsack was shrinking, and I sprouted this mini-me on my shoulder. Rex Jr., freak me out. You're a pussy. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. And he breaks away. Second down and more than the QB would like. The defense better look out. The offense called the Beast Boost Dirty Trick. Second down, and we've got a... And they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. <laughs> Second down, and ain't gonna happen, partner. They just made up a whole lot of field in a hurry with that pass play. And I just made up a new name for a sandwich. Third down and, well, good luck. First down! I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Second down in a very lot. It looks like the defense handed our shrinking pills. Uh, that's a ginormous. Oh, great pass on that play. They caught the defense napping. And that'll bring up third and one. getting down out there. You know, he spends most of his days roasting in the pits of hell, so he's got to make the most of every opportunity to dance. <laughs> Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring.
And it's first and ten. First and ten. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of... And he sticks his fingers in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. Second down and two. First and ten. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like another big portage on in here. We're a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Don't nobody light a match. Man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. Receiver runs away from the pass marker. That? The ref calls a penalty. You know, the MFL has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. Stupid jerks. You guys suck. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. They get ready for the kick. This isn't a gimme. He's got the distance, and the kick is good. Does anyone have a rule book? Because that sounds like he's making stuff up. Uh, do we have a rule book? It's propping up your chair so you can reach the table without spilling your food, idiot. And this game is up for grabs. If they don't pick it up, the offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. <laughs> Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. The punter for today is being played by my kid's sister. Or at least it seems like it. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball's down. And it's first and ten. He picks up eight yards on that pass. Second down and two. And that's a 
first down. Looks like they're just going to pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. I call that the honeymoon offense. I'm not going to touch that one. That's what she said. And it's first and ten. It's a six yard game, and that's how you shock the monkey. Thunderclap. And that'll be second down and four. Second down in a lot. He blasted and picks up seven yards right there. Third down and long. quarterback you have to take risks and just chuck the ball sometimes Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life <laughs> and it's first and ten this guy's still and that's the way to get the sticks moving he picks up five yards on that play Second down and five. Third down and six. What the hell was that? I, uh, I honestly don't know, Grim. And he just rips us away from that. It's about a three-yard pickup. Second down and seven. Did the shock treatment work? Well, after she killed four of the doctors and zapped her, they never bothered her again. So, yeah, I, I guess it worked for her. Third down and five. May go to the ground game and pick up the first. Nicely done. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point in the game. I won't listen to this class for me. Gets the ball, gets the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. The QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. First down and six. Hot, hot one, hot two. Three. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. I think he's warming down as guy to the speed thing, Grim. He's running from his team. It's clear.
You don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Now, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Oh, man, that worm just ate the player alive. You gotta steer clear of the pits. You know, my sister had a tapeworm almost that big. Name was Frederick. I didn't know that they made great house pets. He just gotta sleep in a leather underpants. The little bucket like the burrow. And it's first and ten. They stunt the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And the offense quickly calls their second time out. That's how you do it. Do what? The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? Perfect pass and a score! Hey, remember that skeleton lap dance you had at that totally bone strip club last year, Grim? <laughs> yeah, she said for 20 bucks, I'll take it all off! I didn't know she met her head. That was, uh, kind of weird. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good! And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed, it was a chip wearing a wig. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. And these guys are neck and neck to begin the third quarter. You talking about them two Siamese twins playing opposing tackles? Yeah, they're putting on a hell of a show. <laughs> Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. shots like that over your career? Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot three. Candy picks up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. Hot one, hot two, hot. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their feet. 
boost injection. Close your eyes, Brick. This is gonna get ugly fast. It's a touchdown! Yeah, this guy looks kind of familiar. Yeah, he was in that 80s band. Men without hats, remember? We can dance if we want to. Not bad for a guy 100 years old. <laughs> He's aged better than Keith Richards. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. I ate a piece of licorice once and got a shot like that. It wasn't licorice, you idiot. It was the frayed cords of the leaf blower. Well, it was a red cord and it looked like licorice. The point is... Ah, I forgot my point. Second and three. like a freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. And it's first and ten. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Second down and ten. and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. <laughs> and it's first and ten. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. You've got to catch that. Third down and ten. First down and three. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and, and he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. Uh, normally, I don't advocate for changing the station, but for the sake of your eternal soul, I'd understand if you want to cut away during this ritualistic dance. Uh, Rim? The, uh, the crowd started chanting. Why, well, uh, yes, uh, <laughs> yes, they did. We're... We're going to go ahead and lock the announcer's booth until he's done dancing. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. 
First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Second down and long. just got smashed not as bad as me last night he may be dead but trust me he's in better shape than i am right now oh geez here it comes Blah. hot one hot two first down he was not gonna drop that one they need to make him a target more often and it's first and ten hot. Hot one, hot two, hot three. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, three. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. Second down in a very lot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 And that player has one speed. He's the bullet and the offense is the target. What is this, Andy's wrestling? That's the end of three, and it's anyone's game. Hang on tight. The fourth quarter is about to begin. First and two. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Second down and four. Hot one, hot two, hot three. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. The team getting penalized needs to go into their dirty tricks and attack the ref. Come on, guys, get with it. Attack him and kill him. Jeez. Second down and more. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Second down and ain't going to happen, partner. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. Third and four. Hot, hot one, hot two. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. When you 
get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. They run it for a yard. Second down and nine. First and ten. Defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. Second down and nine. left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite thing because he's the one who just got wiped out. Third down and nine. Mistakes here just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake. It's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one time thing. First and ten. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Second down and ten. didn't see it. At least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. Third down in forever. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about bad hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Briggs. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Not one. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. Either the defense is trying to keep some time on the clock for their offense, or someone let a real bonehead touch the controller. 
Second and three. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. And the defense uses their second timeout to stop the clock to preserve time for their offense. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a... And no more timeouts. The D needs to stop. This is intense. No, Grim. Camping is intense. <laughs> Get it? Idiot. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. And he catches it for a touchdown. What a beautiful play. Yeah, it's on those Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. Damn, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. And they stack the line, and he gets his bell rung for a yard. Second down and nine. Well, that was a good throw. Yeah, if he was aiming for the ground. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match stupsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. They might consider calling a kill the ref play. Just saying. Third down, and offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. <laughs> and the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. Went to the air and came up big. Too little, too late for the offense. This is their last gasp. Fucking choke, guys. At this rate, the QB's gonna have more interceptions than completions. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not your own. The Hellboys are defeated today. It was close for a while, but in the end, it was just too much for them, and they couldn't get it done. Sounds like your wedding night, doesn't it? Hey, they got pills for that. You know that commercial where they show a mummy getting a photo? What the hell are you talking about, Bricks? I don't know. I get confused often. I'm on a lot of painkillers. Well, moving right along, let's hear what the MVP has to say. <laughs> Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.